Hi everyone, thank you for joining me again. Um, I'd like to do a, a class that's more focused on balance, um, just to kind of remind ourselves to um, like retain that inner sense of stillness because balanced poses do require a lot of uh, internal focus and grounding. And I think like we need a lot of that right now. So um, that's kind of where I wanted to go with this one. <clears throat> it also requires a lot of core strength and overall like it's working all the muscles in your body when you're, you know, when you're trying to hold a balanced pose. So yes, so do what you can. Um, it may not be a beginner's class, but you just modify when you can, and um, you don't always need to do every single thing. You can always, uh, I'll, I'll let you know when to modify. <clears throat> so the most important thing is to remember the groundedness, like a tree, right? So let's start, and you can be at the front of your mat. I'm just gonna stand here so I can face the camera. And you can have your feet about shoulder width or a little closer, um, hip width, and tuck your tailbone under a little so your, your pelvis rocks forward, open your shoulders, palms out facing forward, and let's just try to take a few deep breaths here. So as you inhale, you're lengthening up your spine, as you exhale, send your energy down through your feet into the earth, imagining roots growing down and spreading wide. As you inhale, you're breathing in Mother Earth's energies coming up through your legs, up through your spine, up through the crown. And as you exhale, you are sending energy down through your body and grounding down through the roots, spreading those roots. Just keep doing that flow of inhaling, bringing in Mother Earth energy. And we can even use the hands if you like to just flow up through. So you bring your hands in front of you and flow up as you inhale. And then as you exhale, coming down and around and feeling that groundedness through the feet as you bring the energy down. You can do that again, inhaling, lift. Exhaling, you can turn your palms out and down as you send the energy down into the earth. Inhale. And exhale, send it down. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Feel the centeredness inside you and the grounding energies that you just created and the connecting energies to the universe. Let's tune in with an OM. Inhale. OM. Coming to the front of your mat. Toes are slightly pointing towards each other. You can have a few inches between the feet. We'll begin a flow and we'll come into some balance poses. So let's inhale, lift the arms, lift your heart, palms together. Exhale, fold, coming all the way down. Let's just spend a few long deep breaths here. Release the spine, the head, the neck. Swing side to side like a rag doll, just releasing. Bend your knees, plant your hands, and let's step to a downward dog just to stretch out the body a little bit. And you wanna kind of flow back and forth here. So pedal the feet out, let your hips swing side to side. Let your head and your neck go. Lower the knees and coming into a plank, but then coming all the way down to your belly. Keep your elbows tucked to your ribs. Roll the shoulders back, coming into a cobra here. We're just warming up the spine, lifting the heart. You don't have to come into a full cobra. You can keep your elbows bent. 
Curl the toes under and downward dog, stretch it out. Now you can try just plank without the knees. So let's inhale. You're going to pull your navel up as you roll your spine forward, shoulders over your wrists or a little further forward. Exhale as you come down. Cobra as you inhale. Plant the backs of the feet down so you're pressing through all the toes. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Let's do that one more time. Pull your navel up as you inhale. Roll forward, shoulders over fingers. Exhale. Bend the elbows, come down. Inhale into Cobra. Downward dog as you exhale. Great. So let's come in and start to flow into some balance poses. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. And step between your hands all the way at the front of your mat. So you can use your right hand and try to just bring that foot forward. You, know, you want a nice big step, okay? Fingertips to the ground for now. And then when you're ready, start to lift, keeping your balance. Your right hip is coming back, your left hip forward. You want to have your hips square. And start to lift the arms. Open heart. You can have your arms apart, shoulder width apart or wider. Good. Same here. Let's inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, start to twist to your right. Exhale, hook your left elbow over the right thigh. And then push your right hand down into your left for a twist here. So this is a balance pose. <laughs> Got to hold your core steady, hold yourself steady. You can try and look up to the ceiling. And just to challenge you now, here's where the balance really comes in. You're going to send your left foot forward into a chair pose, but stay in your twist using the strength. Okay, so you bend your back knee a bit, maybe propel yourself through that and step it through. So just coming into chair, keeping your twist. Great, inhale, center, lift the arms, chair pose. Exhale, lift, straighten the legs and hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, shoulders over fingers coming down. Cobra as you inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it through between your hands. Nice big step so that the back knee stays up. If you really have trouble, you can lower your knee. That's totally fine. Square your hips. Right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, lift the arms. Hands to heart, inhale. Exhale, fold forward a bit. Inhale, start to twist to your left. And then hook your right elbow over your left thigh. Push your left hand down. Trying to bring the hands to your heart center. Staying in your twist, we're going to send the right foot forward into chair. Doing your best here. You might be wobbly, that's okay. Keep on twisting in your chair pose. Look forward, inhale, lift the arms, chair pose. Tuck your tailbone under. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale. Inhale, flowing with your arms open overhead. Exhale, fold, coming down. Inhale, send your <clears throat> left leg back. Exhale here. Inhale, lift. Nice tall spine. Okay, I'm going to face the camera, stay where you are. <laughs> All right. What we're going to do here is coming in and out of um, a balance pose from here. So you're going to use the strength in your right leg. All right, so start to lean forward, 
push into the right foot and lift your back leg. We're coming into warrior three. All right, so what you wanna do is be able to align your leg with your hip. Your right, left leg comes all the way back, toes are pointing to the ground, and you're reaching your arms forward. If that doesn't work, you can also send your arms back or to the side. Okay, so warrior three. Okay, so if you fall, like if you tip over, that's okay. You can also have blocks ready for you. So let's now come in, come in and out of this. So you're gonna lift up, lift your left knee up, lift your arms up. As you inhale, exhale, send it back to warrior three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lift, stay here. Knee is up. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, send it back, warrior three. And then touch the toes down, back to your original stance, high lunge. Good, as you exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the elbows. You can come halfway, chaturanga, so your elbows are at 90. And then pull the heart forward to upward dog, so the backs of the feet are, and the hands are the only things on the ground. Exhale, downward dog. Look forward, inhale to the balls of the feet. Bend your knees as you exhale, you can step or lightly hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step your right foot back. High lunge. <clears throat> so I'll stay here to show you you want that nice alignment for your warrior three. So you're going to inhale, lift the arms. Exhale. Make sure your left hip is coming back, right hip forward to square your hips. You're going to send that weight into your left foot. We're going to come into warrior three again. Come forward. You can bend your left, right knee a little bit to start to come up and lift. Okay, I'm going to move back. <laughs> and lift up that right leg, warrior three, squaring the hips. Right toes pointing towards the ground. So you want to have a steady gaze. This is where your balance will be more steady. If you have a gaze 45 degrees ahead of uh, towards the ground or a wall. Good. And now let's inhale. Lift that knee. Reach it up. Exhale. Send it back. Warrior three. Inhale. Lift. Reach that knee up. Exhale. Warrior three. Inhale, lift, straighten the leg, exhale, inhale, bend your knee, exhale, warrior three, and touch the toes down, back to your lunge, inhale here, exhale, fold, inhale, plank, exhale, shoulders come forward and lower halfway if you like. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Take a few long deep breaths and downward dog. Sorry, I'm just gonna fix something. Just give me a moment. Okay, great. Inhale, come to the toes, exhale, bend your knees, step or jump between your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Down, just down to your heart as you exhale, breathe. Good. Circling the arms, inhale, lift, gathering energy. Exhale, pull it through to the heart center and fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, send your left foot back. Exhale, plant the foot down so the foot is uh, parallel to the back edge of your mat. And it's a heel to arch alignment, front heel to back arch. And we're going to come into warrior two. So from here, I'm going to just face the camera. There we go. Knee over the ankle, back leg straight. Nice alignment um, from the heel to the arch. Just remember that. Shoulders over hips. I'm going to challenge everyone to do something a little different. You do not need to take this pose, but you're welcome to try. So let's first start to hinge forward and bring the right forearm to the right thigh and lift the left arm up. You can also reach it over the ears. This is a nice, nice alignment from the left fingertips to the left leg, sorry, the left back edge of the foot. If you want to go further, lower your left hand behind your back. Okay, if you want to go further, lower your right hand down. Now you want to keep your heart forward. You don't want to be twisting too much. This may be the furthest you go. We can take a bind, all right? So you're going to tuck your right arm underneath your left, your right thigh, your, your upper arm, and see if you can actually reach your left fingertips. Okay, so this is where you might stay. You might not even get there, and that's okay. Just stay here. Keep breathing. The last step would be send that left foot forward, kind of like a chair, and start to ground into your left foot as you pick up your right heel. You may start to lift up. It's called Bird of Paradise. Don't know if I can come into the full pose today, so you might stop here. You might stretch that leg, breathe. Find a point that's not moving, keep breathing. Bend your knee if you're up. Start to lower down. Ooh. Release the bind, plant your hands. Left foot back, inhale, right foot back. Exhale, coming down to your belly. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees as you exhale. Jump, step, hop. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open up. Exhale, gather the energy through the heart center all the way down. Inhale, right foot back. Exhale, plant that foot. Back edge parallel to the back edge of your mat. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale. Knee over ankle, watch your alignment, heel to arch. Forearm to thigh. Reach your right hand up. You can also bring the hand over to do a nice side stretch so the fingertips are reaching, your arms reaching over the ear. Next step. Bring your right hand behind your back. These are just the steps. You can always stop <laughs> staying at one spot, right? You can start to lower your left fingertips down. Keep opening the heart. If you're super flexible in your shoulders, you can take the next one. Uh, upper arm reaches under your left thigh. Fingertips reach for each other behind your hip. You can stay right here. If you have that strength and you want to try, you can start to push into your front foot, walk the right foot forward. You can stay right here. <laughs> Next step, lift the left heel up. See if you can pick up your left leg. Bird of paradise. Next step, let's see if I can do it. Straighten the leg. Keep breathing. Bend your knee. Lower down if you've done it, great. If not, no worries, stay wherever you're at. Let's release the hands, forward fold. Step your right foot back, inhale, left foot back, exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra, child's pose, release.
So just notice how you're feeling and whether or not you're able to do it, no problem. You just do what you can and always remember you can take the step before and hold that pose. There is no issue, but now you know there's something to aim for if you didn't do it and something to practice. And um, believe me, it's not just about focus and balance. It's also about a lot of core strength. So it might just, you know, you might just need to work on certain aspects and um, it doesn't mean you can never do it. <laughs> so just trust where you're at, except wherever you're at right now. <clears throat> so let's start to come up, hands and knees, curl the toes under, downward dog as you exhale. Let's walk the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold here. Inhale, lift coming up. Gather the energy, exhale, hands to heart. Great. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Ground through your right foot. And let's lift the left knee up. So you want to first ground like we did at the beginning. Remember those roots. Left knee up. Let's bring the knee out to the side, keep breathing. So you could stay here. You can also grab on to the big toe with your index, middle, thumb. All right, you might not move from here. You might start to straighten the knee out to the side. Okay, pushing into, so sometimes that pressure between the fingers and the big toe is what actually stabilizes you. It's like a centered, it's like a push-pull movement. And then see if you can straighten it right out to the side, keeping your focus again, 45 degrees ahead of you. I'm just looking right at my camera. <laughs> now, if you wanna go further, bring your right arm out, turn your head. If you wanna go further, turn your head to look at your fingers, keep breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Let's try something. Look forward. See if you can bring that foot forward. Inhale. Bend your knee. Exhale. And let it go. Shake it out. Let's just do a nice little twist side to side. Shake out the energy. Let your arms hit your body. Awesome. Good. Come back to center. Hands to hips. Ground your feet. Grounding through the left foot, start to bend your right knee. Inhale, lift up the knee. Exhale, open to the side. So this is where you might stop and then you're welcome to take the next steps. You might even try to straighten the leg without your hand holding. So up to you. Let's reach if you can for the big toe, index, middle, thumb. That's how you're holding. If you're ready, start to see if you can straighten that leg out to the side, keep breathing. Finding your inner balance, your inner focus. Remember that. That's why we're doing all this. If you tumble and fall, that's okay. That's part of learning, right? If you want, left hand out. Turn your head to look. Keep breathing, keep your focus. Inhale, look forward. See if you can bring that foot forward. Exhale and bend your knee and release. Good. Bring your feet wide. Nice big twist side to side. Keep breathing. Inhale left. Exhale right. Hit your arms against your body. This is a good release of energy. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale. Let's bring the feet a little bit wider so you're sideways on your mat now. Toes are slightly in. Let's just interlace the hands behind the back, palms together. Inhale and open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fold, come all the way down. Stretch your arms over, release your head and your neck.
Inhale, lift, reach your heart forward. Exhale, release your hands. Good. Heel toe your feet a little closer. Let's just do some nice stretches here. You can keep your feet wider than your hips, hands to hips, big circles. Inhale, heart back, exhale, heart forward. So just inhaling back, exhale forward, releasing any tension in your body through this movement. Switch direction. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Just be still for a moment. Take a few breaths here. You can close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring the toes out. So the feet are still a little wider than the hips. We're going to come sitting, hands to heart. Okay, so you may not go all the way down in your squat. It's totally up to you. Just see how far you can go down. Make sure your knees always go in the same direction as your toes. And let's breathe here. Okay, so you can close your eyes. Push your upper arms into your thighs. Push them out and breathe. Relax the shoulders. Bring your fingertips down and let's start to sit back. You might come lengthwise on your mat. <clears throat> let's just inhale, ground through your sit bones, lift your arms, exhale, fold, reaching forward. So you don't want to overdo it, you just keep your heart lengthened, your chin tucked in. Inhale, lift the arms, lengthen, exhale, release your hands. Let's bring the feet together, bringing your knees out to the sides. And just, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, not fully flexible here, you just let your knees bounce up and down a little bit. We're going to come into another balance, but this time it'll be more, um, uh, core kind of balance. It takes some strength in the whole body to do this one. So I will encourage you to try different ways to do it. You may hold your legs, you may hold your feet or your big toe, okay? Index middle thumb is holding the big toes. Lean back and see if you can lift your feet off. That's the first step. You might just stay here. Shoulders back, chest forward, chin is back. You want a nice tall spine. You may try and open the legs out. You may open one leg to start. That's, that's actually quite good. You could open one leg. You could open both legs. <laughs> this is a pretty intense pose, so I'm just going to encourage you to take your time with it. But you may be able to go right out with both and breathe. The, the key is, if you put that back and forth pressure between the big toe and the index and middle finger, it's like your steady point. So find a point that's not moving, hold your gaze, keep breathing, long deep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to center. If you can bring your feet together again, good. And just fold forward a little bit, just to relax the head, the neck, forward. Inhale and lift. 
Exhale, let's bring the hands outside the knees, lift up. Great. Let's stretch the left leg out, cross the right foot over, plant the foot. You may not be able to do that easily, maybe keep it on the inside, but we're going to do a twist, okay? So just do your best here. If you want to go further, you can tuck your left foot in towards your left hip, to your right hip, sorry. So this is your twist. Inhale, so you're going to hold your uh, left, your right knee with your left hand. Inhale, lift the right hand up. Exhale, bring your right hand, fingertips behind you, tall spine. Inhale, lift your left hand. Exhale, you can either hold your thigh or try and hold with your elbow on your left, on your right thigh and twist to look behind your right shoulder. Keep breathing. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you twist. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, let's see if we can do this. Now, you may, this may be the furthest you go. If you want to take it further, pick up your right foot and bring it closer to your left hip. You're going to try and stack the knees and ground your hips. Not everyone can do this, but that's okay. Like I said, take this, this one is fine. You'll still feel that stretch in your right hip. Okay, so stacking the knees as best you can. Let's lift the right hand up as you inhale. Bend your elbow as you exhale, and then start to take your left hand and push the elbow down. So you're stretching your tricep here. This is, this is called, I think it's called cow face, cow lick, cow face, I don't know. One of those. Sometimes I don't know why they name these poses that way. Okay, you can stay here, or see if you can reach your left hand down and around, and see if you can reach your fingertips. A strap is also an option here. You can grab a strap or your shirt or a sock between your hands. All right, let's inhale. If you like to take it further, exhale, fold. Great stretch for your hips and your shoulders. Very deep. You can start to close your eyes. We'll take a few long, deep breaths here. Inhale, lift your heart. Release as you exhale. Shake it out. Good. Inhale, let's uncross. Shake out the legs. Exhale, let's bring the left knee up and cross it over. You can stay like this. You can also tuck your right foot towards your left hip for a deeper stretch and a twist. Right hand on your left thigh, inhale, lift your left fingertips up. Exhale, reach them behind you, fingertips on the ground, tall spine. Inhale, lift your right hand. Exhale, either your arm hugs your thigh or your whole fore upper arm is pushing into the right thigh. Left thigh, sorry, left thigh, right arm. And twist to look behind your left shoulder. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale as you twist. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, staying either here or try and pull your right foot towards your left, sorry, left foot towards your right hip and try and stack the knees. You're going to pull your feet out a little bit too, so this will help you ground your, your sit bones. If you pull your feet out to, to the sides and then you might be able to go deeper to stack your knees. Not everyone needs to do this. You'll still feel a stretch in your left hip regardless, okay? Inhale, lift your left hand. Exhale, bend your elbow, reach your fingertips down your back, and then push your right elbow, uh, sorry, use your right hand to push your left elbow down, stretching that tricep, the shoulder. 
So you can stay right here, or you can see if you can reach your right hand down and around to reach those fingertips. If you can grab them, great. Otherwise, use your shirt, your bra, your strap, your socks, doesn't matter. Inhale, lift. See if you can go forward, exhale, fold. Nice stretch into the shoulders here, it's great. Keep breathing, a few long, deep breaths. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Release as you exhale. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Do some big circles. You can shake out your legs. And, and let's do a nice pat down of the whole body. So start from your feet. Just nice, use your palms. Get the back of your thighs. Just pat down everything. Get your butt. Shoulders, go up your hand, your arms. Use your knuckles for your chest so it wakes up your immune system. Tap your fingertips on your scalp and just lightly tap your face. Massage out your ears a bit. Just a quick, nice, revitalizing massage and just massage out your throat. Cross your legs. Inhale, lift your arms. Hands to heart, exhale. Just stay for a few long deep breaths here. Notice how you're feeling. Remember the roots that you started with. Just remember that you can go back to that at any time, that groundedness, that inner centeredness. You can even feel it right now, sitting through the sit bones, grounding your roots all the way into the earth. Inhaling and gathering energy from the roots up into your spine as you breathe in, lifting it up. Exhaling, sending that energy down into the earth. Again, inhaling. And exhale. Let's release the hands. And we'll come laying down. You can take any last pose that you'd like, um, but we'll come into Shavasana in a moment. So start to stretch your legs out. And you can use your core to come down. Let your head go, let your arms go, let your shoulders tuck under, let your feet flop out to the sides. And I'm going to get up, but you stay there. I'm going to be playing my little instrument for you, my pan drums. So just inhale deeply. Exhale and sinking into the mat a little further. Keep releasing down. Softening more with each breath. Inhaling, relaxation. Exhaling, releasing any tension out of your spine, your neck. Releasing, inhaling softness. Exhaling tension from your face. Inhaling more softness and peace. Exhale, any tension out of your limbs, your arms, and your legs. Go deeper and relax even more with each exhale.
Inhale deeply. Exhale. Start to wiggle the toes, the fingers. Rotate your ankles and wrists. Tuck your knees in and you can rock side to side. Hug your knees, hug yourself completely. And when you're ready, you can hold your thighs and just rock lengthwise, shoulders to hips. Inhaling as you rock back. Exhale forward. It's a good way to wake up the spine and massage your spine. When you're ready, come sitting up. Hands to heart. Keep your eyes closed. Thank yourself for taking this time to take care of yourself, to find your inner balance, to challenge yourself, to grow through, your, through working on your mat. Sending any gratitude out to anyone or someone, something in your life. Love, life, and health to you. And let's inhale for a long sat and a short nam. Inhale. Sat. 